Uh, the device is made out of nitinol, a nickel titanium composite that enables it uh, greater resilience when being flexed and compressed uh, over other more commonly used materials, which allows us to deploy it through a very small catheter and expand it uh, to a larger size when in the blood vessel region of interest. The path of the catheter travelling up through different blood vessels into the brain. We can navigate the device up into the brain. We put it into a blood vessel called the sagittal sinus. This is in the middle of the brain. It sits on top of the motor cortex and the device sits within the blood vessel. The device has electrodes around the outside and these electrodes pick up the nerve activity from the motor cortex in the brain and the aim, as I mentioned, will be to take these signals and use it to move a bionic limb or perhaps even a wheelchair in people who have paralysis. The step we've taken is in avoiding the open brain surgery step and delivering our technology without having to conduct any open brain surgery.